Hey everybody, it's Secret Agent Zachary of San Jose Boston Parcher. Welcome back to more sports. Now, we gotta talk about something. No, I don't agree about getting Aaron Donald because I'm gonna bring this up with a lot of rumors out there. Here's the problem. If we trade Aaron Donald for a for a pick in the trade deadline, this is this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna bring this up with, with, with you guys. So what's going on is like, well, the Steelers don't need, don't really need to get Aaron Donald. But here's the problem. So the problem is like, if you trade Aaron Donald for a first round pick, what the Rams are, are gonna do to the Steelers? The Steelers won't have the pick next year in the 2024 NFL Draft. So, I want to get you guys a little bit further about this, so you guys will have to look into this. It's a lot of money to afford Aaron Donald. And plus, Pittsburgh picked up a really good wide receiver from the Rams last year. We, we don't need another Rams player to help us extend a lot. But I don't agree about getting Aaron Donald. I mean, yeah, sure, it makes sense that he's that from Pittsburgh, but here's the problem. We don't have the salary cap to afford Aaron Donald. And that's the main issue I like to talk about. So Aaron Donald, eh, he's a little bit... Okay, I, 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 I have to say he's good, but the thing is that he won a Super Bowl with the Rams, so... It will be more expensive, expensive to buy him right now is what I'm saying. Because his salary cap is a little bit expensive how I look at it. And me personally, it just doesn't work. So I would say this. I draw a line here. No, the Steelers should not go after Aaron Donald because it's too expensive. And we would have to give up a first-round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. That's a really, really, really tough risk. I'm not making this up. That's a really difficult risk to take. Because it will it will work. Because the Steelers are after a linebacker in the NFL Draft for 2024. But it wouldn't be fair for the Steelers to get that because what I'm saying is like none of it doesn't make any sense why we should go after Aaron Donald I mean I get it that you guys want to stay in reality but to me it just doesn't work like how is this going to play out and even though if we get Aaron Donald the problem is it might take TJ Watt's place I don't like where it plays. And that's the bottom line. Because I have a strange feeling is like, well, okay, if they take TJ Watt's place, that would work. No, not exactly. It would basically kind of put them in a whole new level. But if you guys want to go a reality way, that's fine. But I, I, I don't agree on that about getting Aaron Donald. And you'll see why that we need to look at this and say, hey, we don't need Aaron Donald. We're not sure if we need Aaron Donald or not. Well, I want to bring this up with you guys so to let you guys know is like, Aaron Donald will not work. Because with terms of salary cap and with terms of things that we're concerned about with Pittsburgh, this, is, this all is not going to work. But anyway, though, bringing up Deontay Johnson. Now, Johnson, now, a lot of people are calling him to get traded. Me personally, I would have to agree. So, if we're looking at trading Johnson, I believe it. But with wide receivers, I think we're okay. Secondary might be another thing I'm looking at, too, with wide receivers, because I want, like, a secondary level. And I hope we can raise it a little bit more on the salary cap. So, yeah, if there's a way that we can get 
some ideas involved with wide receivers. That would be a good idea. I like to see that come into play uh, this year for 2023. So, yeah, although I like the idea of trading Johnson, but for Aaron Donald, it will be so expensive to buy because I'm like looking at the salary cap, I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at that. I'm all like, well, let's just check and see what this is all about. Because to me, trading, getting Aaron Donald would be a big risk for the Steelers because you would trade up for a first round pick, which would that be from the Rams? Because the Rams are, are looking at getting a first round pick. And the Rams would want the Steelers' first round pick. So that means if, if they trade Aaron Donald to the Steelers, basically what's going to happen is they're going to get two first-round picks. One would be their own, the other one would be from the Steelers. So I highly doubt that isn't going to work because it doesn't necessarily need to be what we want for Pittsburgh to do. But wherever this route is going, it's making things difficult for the Steelers to do. And that's the bottom line. Like, you want Aaron Donald? No. Personally, I draw a line on that for, for, for those rumors that are out there. I actually disagree about what am I watching. Because Aaron Donald would be too expensive to get. And I disagree about what should be happening. I think, to be fair, if we're looking at something very interesting, Aaron Donald isn't what we need. If you guys don't know what I mean. So, don't worry, yeah, there are other linebackers out there, but we need to see which one fits the Steelers during the the trade deadline. So, yeah, that's why I recommend what we need to look, look looking for for linebackers, but Aaron Donald wouldn't be one of them. You got to find something that's a little cheaper for the Steelers and something that fits in their move. I don't know if Aaron Donald fits in the move or not if he gets uh, traded to the Steelers. So that's my only question about this. Like, do you think it fits with the team or, or not? That's just my question about what I'm seeing from Aaron Donald. Because he played the Rams since 2013, I believe. And then it took a while for the Rams to win a Super Bowl until they won it in 2022. So that was the bottom line. The Rams were after a Super Bowl for most of the years, but the Rams were in the Super Bowl of 2019, and they lost to the Patriots. Then three years later, they won the Super Bowl with Maggie Stafford. So how I look at this is like, pretty good from the Rams, but Aaron Donald on the other hand, I don't see how he's going to be at the Steelers. I mean, I don't believe it, but I'm thinking is that it might be enough for the Steelers to look at a linebacker in the NFL draft. Now, I would assume, I think Aaron Donald is related to this one person that's from Pittsburgh University. I don't remember his last name. Actually, I, I know his first, I, I, I think his name is Elliot Donald. I think that might be his cousin, but I could be wrong, though. So he has a cousin that's at Pitt, I think. I don't know if they're related or whatnot, but I think they're cousins. I'm not sure, but Elliot Donald's probably the youngest. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about Aaron Donald. About what you guys are thinking. But I want to bring this up with you guys about what I'm seeing. So hopefully you guys will agree with me about what am I 
watching from the Steelers and the Rams because this ain't going to work for Pittsburgh. Plus, this just isn't going to work. Like, how I'm looking at it, it's just like kind of skeptical, but not really that great. It's what I'm bring, what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to tell you guys. So, yeah. Well, I'll be seeing you guys pretty soon. Um, so, let's see. I'm very busy this coming fall. I do have plans for college. So, my, so during 2024, I might be limited to work on some videos. So, we'll have to wait and see. I am pretty busy with, with a lot, but I'll get, I'll get some time involved to make a, a video pretty soon later. So, we'll see how things are. So, yeah, I hope you guys see you soon. So, yeah. Well, have a good one. Stay safe in the hot heat, everybody.